Hi, welcome again to this body series of English idioms. Uh, like I've mentioned in my previous videos, uh, we've touched upon a lot of uh, body parts as uh, with, uh, idioms. Uh, so they being hair, eyes, nose, cheek, lips, mouth, neck and now uh, this video segment is all about a set of English idioms that deals with the word arm, right? So there are about, I have nearly eight uh, uh, English idioms that bring in the word arms into the uh, sentence construction and uh, they have some very, very interesting and fascinating meaning. So let's look at uh, these uh, English idioms, right? Uh, the first one that I have is a list as long as your arm. Uh, you may have guessed the meaning. It means something that is long, tedious. It is a huge, big list. That's what uh, it actually means when you say a list as long as your arm. So an example here would be, uh, we always have a list as long as our arms just before our travel because we have so many things to tend to before we depart right so that's the uh, that's the meaning of this word and that's the example the second one is uh, a shot in the arm a shot in the arm is something that has a very positive and impactful impact on anything or anyone for that matter right uh, the win the recent win that the cricket team had is really a shot in the arm for them because they've lost a lot of matches in the past, right? That is what a shot in the arm is all about. The third one that I have was uh, give your right arm. Is it, this is a give your right arm is you have a strong yearning. You would do anything to get that. You strongly desire something. So, for instance, an example here would be, uh, when I was in the U.S., I would give my right arm for some simple home-cooked meals, right? Um, that is what uh, right arm is all about. The fourth one that I had is the long arm of the law, which means authorities, the police, or judiciary for that matter, uh, which you really cannot escape, especially when a wrong act has been committed. An example here would be, um, he continued with all his petty thefts, but the long arm of the law finally caught him and he was behind bars, right? That is number four, the long arm of the law. Fifth one is to chance your arm. Chance your arm is, you may have guessed the meaning, it's just taking a chance, right? Um, he was not prepared for the exam, but he chanced his arm by... Uh, taking up the examination and just he was hoping that he would scrape through uh, the exam right so it's like risking something you just kind of go ahead and try your luck that's what chancing your arm is all about to cost an arm and a leg that is the sixth one that I had to cost an arm and a leg means something that's very expensive you don't really have a choice but Sometimes you invariably uh, spend so much, right? So an example here would be the agency that we partner with is costing us an arm and a leg, but we really don't have many options. So we are stuck with them, right? That is what the word the, to cost an arm and a leg means. Uh, strong arm and to twist someone's arm are the last two uh, phrases that I have. Strong arm tactics is when the police or anybody uses, uh, you know, forceful ways of getting information out of people or getting someone to do something is what uh, it actually means. The police uh, was using strong arm ta tactics uh, to get all of them to accept to the crime, right? Uh, so it's either threatening them or using uh, physical force. But uh, to twist someone's arm is not force, but you persuade someone into doing something that originally they really did not want to, right? For instance, an example here would be her parents were uh, twisting her arm into studying abroad uh, while she was very interested in staying back in her home country, right? So when you force someone, 
by persuasion techniques to do something that they originally had no plan to do. That's what twisting one's arm is all about. So I really hope you enjoyed these videos. So go ahead and see if these uh, phrases can be brought into our conversations to make a bit of a difference and make our conversations a little bit more interesting. Thank you and take care.